We got a special episode of the Blues Heart Biker today. We're gonna go visit my brother and we're gonna take a look at his motorcycle. And if you stick around to the end, you're gonna get to see a down home blues jam. That's right, you're gonna find out why I'm known as the Blues Heart Biker. All right, we're here today with my brother, Bill Clifton. And uh, some of you might know him as the guitar player from the Mofo Party Band. He and I played in the Mofo Party Band for many years together, did a lot of shows, came up together, cut our teeth playing music. <laughs> a great new band called the uh, Bill Clifton and the Chicken and Whiskey Band. Check them out online. Check them out on Facebook and uh, got a new album out. Yeah. Might as well give you a shout out here. That's uh, his new album and you can, uh, if we can see it here, there we go. You can find that on Spotify and CD Baby and uh, there you go. Amazon. Amazon. You can get it on Amazon, Spotify, and CD Baby. And uh, uh, iTunes. iTunes. Don't forget about iTunes. Yeah. So, and we'll find you on Facebook at Bill Clifton and Chicken Whiskey. Right. Okay, there you go. All right. It's, you can order them on, on Facebook, too. Go order them on Facebook. So there's there's so many ways that you can have fun. Contact. <laughs> Looking for some good music? Talk to my brother. Um, he's a Sportster owner, and we're here to look at his 1969 Sportster uh, Ironhead uh, XLH, and uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's 1969 Harley. The last year, uh, Harley made the Harley family had them before they moved to AMF, and uh, so it's kind of the the last of the real the last of the real deal. I mean, as far as, as far as the kind of vintage look and uh, the the actual Harley legacy, but uh, so uh yeah the amf safe changed the the the, the uh, rocker covers there they they um they put slots in them these look like shovel head um covers right. well, and uh, call, uh, and anyway. and that's what the how the sportster looked until they changed the amf mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is the then came bronson bike The, the 70s bikers really like them because they, they, they make choppers out of them. Yeah. They call them choppers and uh, they like the uh, the uh, kickstart one. Uh, you know, in 69 uh, they went to, to uh, either kickstart or electric start. And uh, and, they, and then they started making them both ways. You could have it either or. And uh, they liked the, uh, to make choppers out of the kickstart because you didn't have to have a battery or a starter and made them lighter. That was mm -hmm. the whole whole idea of chopper, chop stuff out of them to sure. make them lighter and faster. So they were real popular for choppers. And uh, It's not a motorcycle, it's a chopper. Yes, that's right. It's not a motorcycle. Where'd you get this bike? Oh, um, <clears throat> I got it from a guy in, uh, up in the Bay Area, uh, up in the North Bay, and, and um, he had it since he was a teenager. He bought it, bought it new. And so he, uh, it was a one owner bike when I got it. I've had it for about six, seven years. And, uh, but, uh, he told me when he was younger, he, he rode it back and forth to New York t on two different occasions. Wow. And, uh, but, uh, he was, I don't know why he sold it. Uh, and, uh, well, he, he passed away a few years. After you bought it? After I bought it, about three or four years. So I don't know, maybe he had some underlying conditions and just wanted to get rid of it. But, uh, he swore to me he bought it brand new when he was a teenager. And, uh, and so I got it. I'm so this is owner. second owner, 1969 Sportster, but he put dual discs on the front. He did. Which is good. I mean, feel, well, I mean, not for the sake of it being an original bike, but it's a chopper, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a chopper. <laughs> um, that it's really chopper. probably stops his bike really well. They do work really yeah. well. Yeah. Fire it up. Let's hear what this baby sounds like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's see here.
yeah, beautiful. That is absolutely fantastic. All yeah, right. it's even running good today. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's like everything else that's <laughs> 50 years old, you know. It's, uh, yeah. Sometimes it takes a little to get it up and running. And How about this guy over here? What's the story with this? Oh, that's the, that's the story. This is uh, what prompted me to get that one. <laughs> uh, if you'll look behind you, there's a, a big black car there. Uh, that's a 1961 Chrysler Imperial, which I had fixed up, and then I have more work to do to it and uh, the rear end went out so I'm doing that so my idea my original idea was I was gonna go to car shows in this thing and I was gonna get me a little trailer and uh, put a, a little sportster on it and paint it black well I, I found this uh, I decided I wanted to build one I found this frame at a, at a swap meet <laughs> And so I thought, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get a motor, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna fix it all up, and I'm gonna build me a bike, you know? And so I got to figuring out how much money it was gonna cost me. It was gonna cost about two or three times as much to <laughs> build this thing as to go out and just buy that. So <laughs> I, I bought this Sportster complete for a lot less money than I had figured to build this up. So this I'm just keeping as kind of a... That's probably, that looks like the same frame. It is the same yeah, frame. It's yeah. a 60s uh, Sportster frame. Oh, yeah. And uh, so that's the story behind that. That, that led to that. To, to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sure is a beauty. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Little mini chopper. Yeah. It's not a motorcycle, baby. It's a chopper. It's a chopper, baby. <laughs>
have married you, baby, but you got married too soon. Now I gotta wait and catch my next break with you, baby. After your honeymoon, I wonder who. Gonna be your sweet man when I'm gone. gonna have to love you for I will never be at home all right we had a cool episode today got to hang out with my brother do a little jamming talk about motorcycles it doesn't get any better than that does it uh, a big shout out and a lot of thanks out to my subscribers. Uh, I'm getting new subscribers every day and uh, all the people that have liked the videos and all the people that comment. Really having a good time with this. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the uh, little notification bell. It'll tell you whenever I upload a new video and also like the videos and comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, take care of each other. Have a good time. Thanks a lot for watching. I really, really appreciate it.